guys, so I just made a video about how I spent like $920 on a new set. A lot of you probably say, oh, that's a lot of money, you know, but, but, but like to compare it, I would probably spend $920 at the convention I'm currently going on. Um, I purchased two tickets, uh, $65. I did purchase a ticket for my friend. And so whatever, it is what it is. Um, $130 for two tickets uh, for all the days, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I did not go Friday, I went for a few hours Saturday. Well, not a few hours, I mean, I left around 8. I got there at 8 and then I came home around 6 o'clock, but whatever. Um, it's 7 o'clock right now. And to give you an idea of how much like a convention costs, and this is a convention that is in Houston where I live. But if you go to a convention that's not like here, so I'll make two different. A lot of times I will go to a drivable convention in San Antonio, uh, McAllen apparently has some, or Dallas has a ton of great conventions. But I'm just going to talk about Houston and then I'll talk about traveling. A co average convention will run me about, about 100 bucks a ticket. If you want an autograph, I always go for autographs, I at least get two of them. I think the last time I got Jake from Adventure Time, a really nice guy, and then Pikachu was the last two autographs I got. I didn't get any autographs at Anime Missouri because I just didn't have time and everything was closed by the time I got there. But uh, an autograph from Pikachu, just the voice actress who does Pika Pika, I think her name is Veronica, really nice person. I do have merchandise autograph. One autograph with a photo costs 50 bucks. So two autographs cost like a hundred bucks, and that's not, uh, Jake cost like a 50 bucks too. I feel like they kind of monopolized and they decided everyone should charge $50. Now, if you go to like a Magic GP, the artist, if, as long as you buy something from the artist, they will sign whatever you want them to sign. And they will sign, you know, 50 to a hundred copies of a card. As long as, if you buy like a print, they are very happy to see you. And especially if you are one of the first people and I do that with, I like to support them because they make amazing art and the print I would buy anyway. So it's not like a big deal, but and as a bonus, they sign all these cards for you. If you want a Pikachu to sign all of these cards for you, you're going to pay like out, you're going to pay like so much money that it's ridiculous. You can, some of, I think Jake was, not Jake, uh, Finn from Adventure Time, the voice actor for Finn from Adventure Time cost $50 for a picture or $50 for an autograph and if you wanted both there was like a discount like 90 bucks and that's not uncommon so you're going to spend you know let's say 100 bucks 150 bucks for autographs and this into the time you're waiting in line uh, so that's like 100 let's say that's 200 bucks we're at right now now parking is an issue uh, parking they kill you in parking because it's like $25 parking so I'll just throw $25 Food is also an issue. If you want to leave the convention center and you want to like get food around Houston, uh, there's a ton of good places to eat. Uh, Passion Provisions is one of my favorite. So, but it's pricey. So food for those many days are gonna cost money, right? It's not like you can not eat out. It's not like you can eat at home where you can, you know, I don't know. But food will cost money. Um, drinks and ice cream, I'm a big fan of ice cream. I don't know. I'm a sucker for ice cream at conventions and that costs money. Uh, there's a ton of stuff which costs, oh, also like merchandise that you buy. I always buy like a Figma as, I buy a ton of Figmas. I buy a scale figure. A lot of these time, a lot of times you cannot buy the stuff um, that you can get from an anime convention on Craigslist or there's no store in Houston that has the figures I want all the time. and But at the anime convention in the artist gallery, also, okay, so different artist gallery I'll talk about a little later because uh, I, my friend actually is running one right now and I have to help her like pack it up. But I will always buy figures, so I'm not from like, I guess they kind of are located in the artist gallery sometimes, but they're like from, they're like a store, a mobile store that sells figures. And I buy a few of those. Um, a average scale figure cost me between 70 to 100 bucks. I'll always buy at least one scale and then a few like boxes. And each of these little like mystery boxes is like five to eight bucks. And I'll buy a few of those to open. 
at the convention center with friends. I mean, if you're with friends, and my friends, they're not like poor, so they can buy stuff too. Whenever like they buy stuff, I always feel like I should buy stuff too. <laughs> it gets real bad. Uh, it gets really, really bad. So all in all, like I was taking merchandise is another like $400. And I really honestly tell you like probably it's more than that. So $600. Now artist gallery, I commission a lot of stuff because I know like who's going to be there because um, I follow them on Facebook. And a lot of times I don't want to wait. Like I'm not the type of, I don't, it's not that I don't trust them to do it because I've ordered multiple times before. It's just that I would rather pick it up at the site and the location and as opposed for them to mail it to me, especially print, like um, designs and prints and stuff. I work as a, I work in graphic design um, and I know that sometimes when you ship a print, it becomes bent or especially given the shape of and the size of some of these prints, uh, you can get them damaged and that's, that would obviously be very bad. So what happens is I always commissioned it and then I just paid for them in cash. So everything is done in cash transaction. So pretty much you're carrying at least $600 a day with you in cash and you, at the end of the day, you probably don't have any money left. Um, you don't have any money left. So when people like say like you know, $920 for a new set and um, so I, I'll be honest with you, my Friday Night Magic, because I buy so much cards is I don't pay for it so I just I enter it and then Thursday night EDH I don't pay for it because like I purchased like so much the owner just gives me like credit like I don't even know how much credit I have I just know that like I can go to any event any uh, draft or Friday Night Magic and like not pay for it because I purchased so much stuff already so compared to like convention even that's a convention in the same city you live in now tack on about $500 in hotel fees at the minimal and then car rental and that's like a convention in San Diego Comic-Con. San Diego Comic-Con I've gone once when I was in college and I remember it even like being extremely, what's the word, frugal, not cheap but uh, extremely frugal, you st still spent over a thousand dollars in that convention. Uh, a great time, it was in 2006 and a lot of my toys, my um, came from that convention because I was selling toys at the time, if you believe that. And the inventory I didn't sell, I still have with me. So I had like a lot of Dead or Alive um, figures. I had a lot of Final Fantasy. That was like the time Final Fantasy 7 and 8 were really popular. I mean, they're still popular, but back then, like you couldn't move without seeing a cosplay or a figure or a cool. And that was a great experience. I'm, I mean, at the end of the day, there's a lot of really expensive hobbies you can be into, like video game collecting. So I'm in probably most of those hobbies. And so Magic Cards, I know a lot of you feel like it is expensive, but it's only expensive because you're younger now. And when I was younger, I had to budget better and I'll make a video about it. But now when you're older and you have a job and you can afford to buy stuff that you want, um, it becomes easier to justify spending 920 bucks on a Dragons of Tarkir and spending a thousand dollars on a um, anime Comic Con uh, and buying all those stuff because at the end of the day, I mean, why should why are you making money if not to spend it, right? I mean, I guess you could save it, but <laughs> I'm not really into saving, so yeah, I'll just spend it. Bye, guys.